All right. Uh, the NBA world got shooketh over the weekend as the New York Knicks send Dante DiVincenzo and Julius Randle on their way to Minnesota in exchange for Carl Anthony Towns. Um, and so, yes, this throws off a few NBA uh, preview things that I do. We're still going to put out the mega preview on the eve of the uh, NBA season, uh, but there's going to have to be a couple disclaimers like, hey, this was recorded before that trade happened. And uh, today was supposed to be NBA players on the hot seat, and two of them were Carl Anthony Towns and Julius Randle. So I suppose fitting that both players get moved in this particular deal. But let's start with the Knicks, because I, I like them more. Um, they get the best player in this trade, in Carl Anthony Towns. They needed a center, with Mitchell Robinson being banged up, and Hartenstein now being a Thunder. Boy, did they go out and get one. If this works, this can be a title team. Um, I, I have said that. Um, I've said that about this team before. Uh, Deeds, welcome back. Uh, sorry that pesky work thing gets in the way, uh, but but happy to see you back. We still got some um, NHL talk coming up after the uh, after the basketball here, and and some flames to to close things out today. Um, but I, I have said before that this is a New York Knicks team that is now a championship caliber roster, and you have now added Carl Anthony Towns to that. And so if he can properly integrate into this team, and the best version of him, I think, fits this team really well, where he doesn't need to be a, he's not a ball stopper, he doesn't need to, all right, now I got it, now I'm gonna do my thing, and I'm gonna put it up. He can be a, a, a spot shooter, and can kind of spread the floor a little bit. He provides them with a real big body presence down low that they didn't really have. Um, Hartenstein and, and Robinson both at times were able to do that, but in terms of being like just a scorer down low, Towns is infinitely better than both of those guys. And so I, I think he can kind of fit with Brunson and Bridges in a very interesting way. Um, on the defensive side, it's not perfect. Um, he fouls a lot and that is going to be the, the issue here, or one of the issues, I think, here, is defensively, when you are playing for Tom Thibodeau, a lot is expected of you, and you can't do that when you are onto the bench after you've fouled a lot, and that was always the frustration with this guy, is he can find himself in foul trouble for just the dumbest fouls you could possibly imagine, and so that is where you start to get into the oil and water aspect of this. Because we had said before that the Knicks have carved out their identity. You, When you see a player out there, you're like, you know what? That's a Nick. Um, Carl Anthony Towns is not that. And so you do lose a touch of that. But you also get a really interesting, very talented player at his peak. Like, Game 7 against the Denver Nuggets, he had a monster game and helped them put the Nuggets away and move on to the Western Conference Finals. And so, like, there is a really, really good player in there. I do also think that it never really clicked in Minnesota, and I think that that was kind of weighing on him a little bit. Um, the fact that there was a new guy coming in to be the guy when he was the guy before, um, I, I don't think he ever really fully embraced that. Now he is coming to a team that isn't his team, um, but it's guys who he's familiar with from um, from, from different aspects of life, right? So there is, I, I think, a really intriguing part of this team now that I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to see it work. There is a part of me that is just a little bit like, oh, like, I just, I liked how they were constructed. I liked how they were put together and I wanted to see it work. But now, offensively, this is going to be a difficult team to stop. We will see what they're able to do defensively. Um, but I do think that he fits there a little bit well. On the Minnesota side, it gets you out of a gigantic contract. And DiVincenzo, I think, like, fits in with this Minnesota group quite well and what they are looking to do in kind of a, a second unit. He's still going to be a bench player on this team, but I think he fits this group very, very well. It's Randall that I'm not sure about because Randall is that guy who, when he gets the ball, it all just kind of stops. And it's why it never really fit with him um, with the Knicks. Although, like, I'm saying it didn't really fit with him with the Knicks. Like, he's a two-time All-NBA and is a very good basketball player. And I think that gets lost in a few things sometimes. But with him and Edwards, like, Edwards needs the ball to, to be able to create and do all of those things. Well, so does Randall. And when Randall gets it, it's, okay, I'm gonna back you down, I'm gonna spin around, oh, I'm a little point forward, oh, and I'm gonna shoot a three, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Um, and, and so, yeah, that, I just, I have questions about the fit there, but like long-term contract wise, I think it's an interesting move. Um, it it kind of gets them out of a couple of things. And now it is a big prove it year for Julius Randle as well. So I don't think that this is a team now that 
takes a big step back. Um, Towns, like, they, they replaced his minutes with Reed really effectively and didn't really miss a beat without him. So I think they just kind of slide him in there. We will see where Randall kind of fits with all of that, though, because I, I can't imagine Randall's going to be stoked to come off the bench in Minnesota after starting in New York. Um, so it's going to, again, it's just, it's an interesting fit out there. Overall, I think I do think the Knicks win this trade because I do think Carl Anthony Towns just kind of raises the ceiling a little bit for this group offensively. Um, it, it is a, it's a difficult fit defensively, but they have enough guys who can go out there and get stops defensively that I, I don't think it's going to be much of a hindrance. So I'm I'm very excited to see how this all plays out um, and to kind of recalibrate what I think of both conferences after a blockbuster trade.